Welcome back to Dating with Katie. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five biblical principles that are great for dating and for everybody. So if you're not a Christian, if you are a Christian, it doesn't matter. These are all just great tips so that you can become confident, get successful, and have some fun dating. Well, I want to make sure that you guys are in the database, in my network. If you'd like to work with me, there's the work with me link right below. Make sure you subscribe and do me a favor. Give me a five-star review. Let me know what you love. You can always email me as well. Plus, I want to share with you a little bit. The last two podcasts were about finances. I shared my story. I talked about dating and finances. It can be a tricky subject. And again, if you listened, You don't have to agree with everything. I just hope you always grab the golden nuggets. But I would love for you to do, if you do not have someone who is helping you in that financial sector of your life, like I did not, make sure you reach out to my personal finance guy. His name is Ryan. Information is right below. You know, I always liken it like you you want to be with someone who is on your team. You want to date someone who is for you, who is helping you build your life. Ryan has helped me do that. When we started years ago, I literally had no vision on how I could build my finances. And he has helped me tremendously. He's helping my children get your kids involved in their finance game. Reach out to him, his phone number, his email, all of his information is right below. So thank you, Ryan, for sponsoring. Well, today is five biblical principles that you should apply for dating. Now, guys, if you don't like what I'm about to say, because I'm going to be using five Bible verses, then you can take it up with God. So I just want to clarify that. None of this I've created on my own. This is definitely biblically based. And if you don't know, I am a believer and it's interesting. God's really been doing some stuff in my life to shake it up uh, and that I share in other places. But these are five things and I'm going to be specific to one is for women and one is for men. So you want to wait and listen for those. And the last one is going to be that wedding verse that you all hear, which you, you maybe didn't even know came from the Bible. But let's start with the first one. And I probably think this is the most important. And this one comes from Proverbs 4.23. And now that's an Old Testament uh, verse. Those are, we're going to get some old and some new. But this is, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. Now this is for everybody. Man, woman, child, kids that are dating, old people, it doesn't matter. Your heart is, is where it all starts. And we all know that because our feelings come from there. Uh, Our thoughts come from there. Everything comes out from your heart. And you've got to make sure that you are not giving it away to everybody. And that comes with just emotional giving it away, physically giving it away. You know, I liken that to almost being like a piece of tape. The more you go and have sex with everybody, the less sticky you are. You know, you're just no longer using using the tape for its purpose because it doesn't work anymore. And I just saw on Instagram a woman who's very funny and comical about her dating life. And I follow her, but some of it's a little brass for me. She mentioned that I think it was the average, like people have sex with 74 different people in in their lifetime. That's the average for a regular American. And that broke my heart. And the funny thing is, is she even said, well, I guess I'm just a slut, something to that extent. And you know what? That's not pretty. Like that is a scary statistic, especially in this day of STDs and STIs is the new terminology. And just your heart. Like you're giving away your heart and pieces of your soul. And, and some of you are believers in that, you know, I'm going to find my soulmate. That's actually a mythology. So you should look into that. I'll share that on a different podcast. But you've got to guard your heart. You've got to guard those emotions. And ladies, I'm going to specifically let you know that that's you. I know some of us get all jaded and, and we get a little like confused inside. We're dating these guys or not being clear. Well, then you need to let them go. Because if a man is not making your heart feel safe, and guys, I hope you hear this. Your job is to make her feel safe. If he is not doing that, then you should not be with him. You should not be dating him. You should not be with him, period. So guard that heart because that is yours. It's valuable. It's the source of your inspiration in your life. And you need to stay heart healthy. I used to work with the American Heart Association and heart healthy is it. So guys, make sure that you are guarding that. Now, one of the ways you can tell if you are, this is another Bible verse. It says, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So when I listen to people, even when I'm reading Instagram stories, even when I talk to clients or people who I might potentially put on dates, I listen for how they speak about dating. And if there is a lot of bitterness spewing, I call that the bitter Bob and the bitter Betty, your heart is not right. And so I recommend you go listen to my Four Foundations podcast. That's episode two. It was that important that I episode two did, right? Made it early in my podcast career. Well, let's move on. Now, this one is for all the manifestors out there, which, hey, I'm all about believing for something and in going for it. You've got to do the work as well. 
you know, and God is good, so he will open doors where you can't. But here's my favorite all-time Bible verse, and this is my my personal life verse. And it's Psalms 37, 4, and it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, some of you believe in the universe. I actually believe God created the universe, so you are believing in God. And he will give you the desire of your heart. Now, now, ironically, there's another Bible verse says that seek your face, your face, O Lord, I will seek. And that's really what our heart wants is God. Because I'm going to tell you, there is no person, no man, no woman who will ever be able to satisfy all your needs. And that is where the world is getting it wrong. We are hoping to find our perfect person, the person on our list that we're manifesting for, the other half, the better half, the person who completes you. All of that is nonsense. It's silly, worldly jargon. And I can tell you this, that no person, no man, no woman will ever fully satisfy you or even know you to the depth that God, who created you, will. So please delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, some of those desires might be a little crazy. And I know some of you are like, well, my list is long, Katie. If you haven't heard me talk about the list, your list should be all about the character qualities of someone and how they treat you. So you might need to rewrite that list. But there's nothing wrong with desiring to be in a relationship, to have children in a family. And I want to encourage you that if that truly is your heart's desire, keep working for it. It's not going to come to your front door. I know some of you are 38 years old, 40 years old, single women, and you want to have kids in a family, then get out there and get dating. Start doing the work to find that. It's like I say, God helps the birds, right? But he doesn't build their nest, but he gives them everything they need to go find what they need to so they can build the nest. So delight yourself in him and he will give you the desire of your heart. Well, let's move on to the next one. And this is for you ladies. And guys, listen to this because this is a great rubric of what you should be looking for. And I'm going to read it directly here. So this is Proverbs 31. Now, Proverbs is a book all about wisdom, which is great, especially in this day and age. It is good to be wise about dating. And now you guys know me. I love a lot of rules, practical tips. I'm very pragmatic, a little bit more of a merger than the romance scene over here. And when you read stuff from the Word of God, when you read the Proverbs and his wisdom, you can find some encouragement for daily life on how to do life right. But his last chapter, and he saved the best for last, is Proverbs 31. And this is a king, and and I'm no biblical scholar, but this is a king, and he is speaking of the wife of noble character. Now, men, if you are just looking to play around, this will obviously not pertain to you, and you shouldn't even be looking for these women because the quality good man who wants the long-term relationship, who wants to put a ring on it, who wants to be in something that the world is not seeing anymore. Divorce, relationships are falling apart because everyone's doing it like the world. And that makes me sad because I believe in relationships and long-term and marriage. And I just took a poll and so many of you did as well. So let me read this to you, Proverbs 31 woman. It says, a wife of noble character, who can find? She's worth far more than rubies. Did you hear that? Ladies, you are valuable. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Ladies, here it is. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. So if you want to go complain about your man, that's not what she does in Proverbs 31. Now, the whole thing talks about how she is a boss babe. She actually owns land and she takes care of her servant girls and she is up early, which I am not. I am like a seven o'clocker, but that doesn't matter. But she is, she's amazing. So go read that. But I want to finish off with a couple more things about her. And ladies, listen up. It says in Proverbs 31, 25, she can laugh at the days to come. This is key, you guys, because this world, it's really just a micro, microsecond of, of what else is next. And it's tough out there. And if you're going to be in relationship with a man and you know you want that, then you've got to just... Take it like water off a duck's back. There are going to be things, there are going to be speed bumps, there's going to be hurdles, and there's going to be walls that you're going to have to go through with your man. And if you can laugh at the days to come, if you can be truly joyful and grateful, that is so attractive. Lastly, it says in verse 30, that charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Now, you guys know I'm all for taking good care of yourself and showing up as your best self and doing what you need to do, but you can do all of that. And deep inside, it could matter not at all. Even in my seven steps to sexy, in lesson two, I tell you what really is sexy to a man. Man, so go buy that program, ladies, and learn what men really, really think is sexy. 
But a woman who fears the Lord is going to be all of this. And so guys, keep your eyes out for that. And ladies, you become that. Now guys, I have a chapter for you as well. This is going to be found. This is going to be found in Ephesians. This is actually chatting about marriage. And now I know some of you are not marriage minded, but hey, look, if you're an LTR kind of guy, long term relationship, you need to be thinking like this. And ladies, you need to be looking for a man who can do this. Now, this chapter is uh, chapter five. I'm going to talk a couple verses. So go read the whole context. It's always important, but this is a short podcast. Now, chapter five, verse 21 says this about relationships. Submit to one another. Okay, did you hear that? It goes both ways. Submit to one another. Now, the Christian Christian idea of relationship is not women just submitting and doing whatever he says. But a, a good man will be 51% leadership and she's 49. Why is that, Katie? Only because he has to actually take the brunt of the full responsibility. I've had many businessmen say, Katie, 50-50 is never a good idea in business. It has to be 51-49 because there has to be one person who makes that decision or sometimes things don't go. Now, ladies, this is where you need to submit. But here's the beauty of that 51%. He needs to do this. It says, husbands, love your wives. And it says, he who loves his wife loves himself. So he's only going to want to do the best for you if you're in a relationship with a man who really loves you. After all, no one ever hated his own body. This is what verse uh, 29 says. But he feeds and he cares for it just as Christ did the church. Now, guys, you should be caring for her beyond just wanting sex and taking her out to nice dinners. You should care about the details of her life. And ladies, that's how you know when he truly, truly loves you. But now the sad thing is in this world, love is such a misconstrued idea. A lot of people mix up feelings for love. And now love is a choice is kind of how I see it. You choose every day to choose that person again and again in that relationship. But let me tell you what the Bible says love is. And this is a big, mighty call. So you need to gird your loins right now and you need to, to wrap your heads around this. And you hear this at at weddings all the time, but you should be implementing it way before a wedding. And you should know this and put it to memory because love is patient. And you'll find this in 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Woo, I'm feeling that one. It does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. And guess what? Love never fails. Now, this is a tall ask, a very big ask to expect someone to do these things all the time for you. But by the way, you should be doing that for them as well. And that is why the truth is God is love. You're never going to find any human being and not even a dog who can meet all these needs. I know some of you are like, well, my dog is my dog is perfection. No, your dog is not perfection either. But and your children will never be perfection, but God is. And this is where I'm saying the world is getting it wrong. The world is reaching out for things and relationships and travel. And you know, I love all that. But without God as your foundation, you're just building on sand. You guys need to have a foundation that is firm and secure. And I talk about this in my four foundations. First and for foremost, you have to know where your hope, love, and joy comes from. Because it can't come from outer circumstances because those will change you guys. So I want you to listen to these five verses. I'd love to hear some feedback. And I think the word of God just has some great value to what we're doing in dating. I do think it can help you get confident because the word of God tells you they love he loves you no matter what. I do think it can help you get successful and make sure that you're choosing the right person. And I think you can just go have fun dating again. I don't know what the word of God says about dating. There's not a whole lot in there. But I know that God is a God of joy and he's a God of fun. And he is the God of relationships. He created it. And we're better together. So when you get the right mindset, you will start to attract the right person, you guys. Well, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Make sure that you have subscribed. Send this to a friend. I know it might be a little off the cuff to be hearing about Christian values and dating, but I'm telling you, I really think this is where the world's getting it wrong and where we, my 20 percenters, those of you who are listening right now, can get it right. And make sure to go check out my new courses. I have Confidence 101 for Men. I also have my Seven Steps to Sexy for Women. And yes, you can be Christian and still be sexy because you're going to find out how to get there and what it really means. You guys, thanks so much. And until next time, get confident, be successful, and go have some fun dating.